Hello everybody, it's Andy here from AM Media Games. In this video today I'm going to be showing you how to edit the world aligned um, textures and normals that I set up in a previous video to include the rotation functionality. So the first one I'm going to do is we're going to click on where it says world aligned normal and double click and this is going to open up this spaghetti mess function that Unreal Epic's team created. Um, yeah, what an absolute mess. So, we're going to have to edit this slightly by uh, adding some functionality between these nodes here and just underneath. Um, and then we'll have to also do it in the high quality normals as well. So the first thing I'm going to do, let's go to the high quality normal one and let's double click. Let's open that up to another spaghetti mess. And in here you can see it's pretty much the same layout. This is just how a world aligned texture function works. Let's try and tidy this up slightly. So we can see our masks are all going to these texture samples and they're all connected into the top into the UVs. Um, so we're going to add a rotation ability. So we're going to get a custom rotator, the miscellaneous one at the top. And we're going to copy that two more times, control C, control V. And then what we're going to do then is we're going to trace this line so out of the return value into the top UV texture sample. Same again. This one's going to go here into the texture sample, and this one is going to go into the texture sample at the bottom. Then we're going to connect our masks into UV. This is going to give us the ability to rotate. And now, what we want to do is add the functionality to be able to rotate it. So, we're going to get a free, a constant free. So hold free and left click. And then we want uh, an input function or function input. So input, and I get function input. <clears throat> I'm going to change the name to this to uh, rotation. Uh, rotation. Uh, sorry, texture. Rotation. So we know what it does. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's going to go uh, the top one into preview and then we want to divide this by 360 so let's drag out get a divide pop that in there so now we have a these three nodes and we have these three rotators the next thing we want is a break so we want a break we want to float three there we go so that's going to go into Uh, this one and this one's going to go into this one and that's going to go into there so that's that done we're going to apply that and save it we can see here that we have um, an error which is fine because we're going to fix it now so this is just letting us know that we have texture rotation and it's a free vector but there's nothing connected to it so this is what the error is we've got nothing connected in here so what we're going to do it's the same again, so we can copy these, and we need to fix that as well. So let's put 360 there, and then we'll copy these. So Control C, and then go back into our world aligned normals. This is the high quality one. We're going to go into the normal, just the normal. So it should look something like this. If your high quality one here, which is this one that we just did. So let's save that and close it. <coughs> and then we're going to paste this just here, just like that. Now we're going to do the same again. So return value into UVs, top texture sample, the second texture sample, and then the third one into UVs. Make sure they go into UV on these texture samples. And then we're going to plug um, mask RB into the top one, the middle one, and the bottom one. Just, just like that um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to drag out of this node the vector 3 and we're going to plug scooch this along into texture rotation and then apply now we have the normal set up with the functionality that we need so if we go here we can see we've got the same error this is letting us know that we have an input action or an action that isn't hasn't got anything to control it 
so it's nothing to worry about. I'm going to make sure we save and save just in case it crashes. Now open up our world align texture, double click, zoom out, and we can see we have exactly the same setup, an absolute spaghetti mess. But all we need to do now is just paste and then plug our nodes in. So we're going to go turn value, top UV on the texture sample, middle one, and the bottom one, just like so. Plug that into the top, middle, there we go. And that's all set up. Make sure this is 360, apply it, save it, and then we can close these two. And in here we'll have two errors. And all we have to do now is make a scalar parameter. So hold S and left click, and this is going to be our rotation and we want it to be the same. So we can just connect that one into there and that one into there. So now we have the ability to rotate our texture. So 200, and we can see we can rotate our texture. So because we have this on a um, scalar parameter, we can apply, we can save and go into our level. We've got our material instance. So let's recreate that. So left click, right click, material instance. And then if we drag a block, let's do a shape cube, place that in the world. You can see here we have our cube. We have our material instance. Let's open that. Let's minimize it a little bit. And then if we apply the texture or the material instance to the to the cube and we check this panel here we turn this on and this on we can adjust the scale and we can rotate our texture so that will give you the ability to do so now if we go to let's try a not that one let's try uh, mega scans surfaces brick wall and let's delete that. Let's go into this one. Oh, delete the wrong one. This one. Yep. So then if we add rotation, texture rotation, and texture rotation, and we apply, and we close this. And let's save that and close that. So let's apply our brick wall. Da -da 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 -da. Onto this surface, let's give it some scale. So increase the scale. And then if we drag our rotation, you can see that we can rotate these bricks to the desired angle. So if we set it at 90 degrees, the bricks will go up. So that's how we can rotate um, the auto align material. So I hope this video helps. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, then for any reason, then dislike it. I mean, it's a free tutorial. Um, but yeah, consider subscribing. Help the channel grow. Help me provide more tutorials. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.